Greetings artist. We will continue with our study of the elements of art using line and shape. We will be drawing a cylinder. Be sure to orient your paper in the vertical position. Again, this is an elongated shape and we need the vertical axis to draw it. We'll start out by marking the top edge with a dot. These guides will help us form the shape of our cylinder. I've got that top front edge of the cylinder and the bottom front edge. I'm ghosting the line for the edges of each side, top and bottom, so I know where to put my guide dots for the outside edges of the cylinder. Once I have my guide dots in place, I will mark off the edges of each side, both left and right. Notice that I'm rounding the corners. Cylinders are round, you should not have any sharp points. Everything should flow smoothly into everything else. So again, ghosting the line to ensure that I get a nice straight edge. And then I'll drag from my shoulder straight down and curve right at the bottom so that I can have a curved edge and create the bottom of the cylinder. For the top, I'm going to go ahead at my guide dots and add the curves for each side. And then I'll just connect the curves to the center point. And that'll be the center front edge that I'm connecting now. I'll do the same thing for the top. I'll loop around. I'll arc around on both sides. And notice that my arc is a bit too large on the top. So I'm going to correct that and make it a bit smaller and then clean it up with an eraser. At this time, check for proportion of your cylinder, make sure everything's lined up and you have nice smooth edges. Make adjustments as necessary. Don't forget to label your cylinder, cylinder, C-Y-L-I-N-D-E-R. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.